Hey guys, we're back again. Today, as you remember, our current leader is Torco. So, following down. But anyhow, on to what today's video is actually about. Today, Deluxe 123 sent us in a new oil to test. Oops. Oh, one second as I drop it. All right, we have VP Racing 20W50. I thank you for sending that in. I highly appreciate it. But furthermore, let's be curious and see how well this stuff tests out compared to the rest. So, so far we've tested one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different oils. Two of which technically are the same, but they were different models of the same oil, so we'll still go with it. So here we are continuing on. We find a nice little spot here to hold it. I don't have a bearing in the machine yet. Please hold for one second so I can put a bearing in it. As you can see, bearing is brand new. Ray back on the machine. Okay, and I will show you that the race is cleaned up on the machine. Good to go. We have our new bearing right here. And let's see how this VP oil does. I've heard some good stuff about this. I've never used it. I know a few people that have used it in the past. Um, they didn't really give me any kind of input on it. They just kind of run it, but you know, let's see what it's about. That's what this is all about is learning. All right. Let's see what color this stuff is. Oh, nice amber color. Now I drop the cap. Off to a great start at dropping things today, apparently. Alright. Before we start that, let me set this up so we're, we're at the same spot we are always at. It looks like we are right there. Okay. Furthermore, let's see how VP Racing the 1 EW50 does. Right, torque wrench on, set to 100 foot pounds. We're at 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Right at 55 is right where we stopped. So, not terrible but it doesn't make a killing or anything on our list. But let me wipe this off here. Show you a little bit of the wear scar. See what it looks like. All right, so there is the wear scar. And you can see it ate up a little bit on the race. Ended up at 55, which somewhere right in the middle, basically. So, better than a couple, but still has not dethroned Torco, which Torco for the money, I would hope that it was up high, being that it was like about $23 a quart. So, we still have our budget-friendly oil, VR1, in the top three. Royal Purple shocked us. I've never been a Royal Purple fan myself. Pretty much shocked me to be within the top five. So, but anyhow, this pretty much concludes our video for today. Um, once again, I thank you for sending in the oil. Um, just remember, like, subscribe, and share, guys. Have a good day.